guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Anicia. As you can see by today's title, I'm going to be grooming my dog. Yes, by myself at home. Before I start this video, I just want to say um, get, and give you guys an update about Coco. Her leg is fully healed. Yay! And uh, um, she's back to her normal self, um, walking around, running making trouble, pooping every single day. Um, yeah, now she needs a bath because, um, Coco, yeah, now she needs a bath because she's not smelling okay. She's smelling really bad because she made an accident and she, it's just disgusting. And so I decided, um, today's the perfect day to bathe her before it gets any worse and smells up her whole entire house. So let's get right into it we're bathing her in this bin um because we do not want to bathe her in our bathtub because it's just more better to bathe her in a bin instead of our bathtub because that's just gross ready to bathe yeah let's go she's like being so lazy today she does not want to do anything i think because um she feels dirty, so she doesn't feel like doing anything. I wouldn't either. And it's not like she can bathe herself. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna not really say it much. I'm just gonna show you guys what I do and how I bathe her. This is a really stinky and dirty process. Um, if you have a dog, find someone who's up for the challenge to do this because it's a really hard process and it takes a lot of time and you have to have a lot of patience. Oh, you stink, Coco. I almost, I almost threw up there. Having fun? I'm using this shampoo for Coco. You guys can use any shampoo you would like or prefer for your dog. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in the bath a little bit to take out the scent. The smell. dog compared to most other dogs especially the little ones because you probably expect the little ones to be more bitey but she's she's gotten used to it i don't think she has ever been all fussy she's really calm she just stays until the job is done that's one thing i like about her it's really easy to clean her head. i'm gonna use one for wipes to clean out the, the gunk of poo that's stuck in her butt. She doesn't really like this part because it probably hurts for her. Usually I like to clean her bum inside of water when I bathe her because the water makes it easier to clean. Ugh, I hate these gloves. They have a weird feeling. Hey, why did you turn around? You're too smart. You get used to this. So it doesn't really disturb me. It's like cleaning a baby's bum, even though I never did that before. <laughs> I don't want to use the, the water to wash her face. I'm just gonna use like water, bottled water, to wash her face. I 
I'm getting my shirt wet. It's for Coco Bell. I know. Now this is the part um, that takes a good amount of time to really dry her um, with the towel. So we're, going to, so we're going to use a hair dryer to make the process go faster. And at the same time, I'm going to use her brush and um, her comb to so the fur doesn't get really tangly. So I can't really think, because I'm wet, and I hate being wet with clothes on. Now I'm using her comb and combing her to, just to get like all the knots out because the brush doesn't really do anything. I mean, it smooths it a little bit, but it doesn't fully get all the knots out. So I have to go. This is the part where she wants. She doesn't really like the comb. So you have to be. So I have to be gentle. I think her fur is coming in my nose. Disclaimer, I'm not any professional, I'm not any professional dog groomer, um, I'm just doing what I do for my dog. If you have something totally different, then you can do that. You don't have to follow me. Um, this is just what I do, and what works for us, and what gets the job done, gets you clean at the end. Okay, I'm going to finish drying her and brushing her and getting all the knots out, and then I'll come back when I'm brushing her teeth and cleaning them. One hour later. Okay guys, so now I'm going to just brush her teeth. I'm just going to use these. Do not mistake this for actual toothpaste that us humans use. This is a dog toothpaste made for dogs and only dogs. And then this this, this is not um, a human toothbrush. This is a dog toothbrush. Just making sure that you guys know that. Um, I'm going to try my best to uh, get her teeth brushed because usually she's a little bit fussy and she likes to move around but it ends up getting the job done and making her teeth look decent. I have this styrofoam cup that I'm going to use to like dip it in to soak the brush. You guys can use it too if you want to or just use your sink or whatever you want to use. But right now since I'm filming I'm using this and they like the taste of this, the toothpaste whatever flavor it is. And you let her chew on the brush and then that's how they clean their teeth. Then you can wash it out and repeat the process. Okay guys, this is the end of the video. Um, right now, we're on to our last Thing that we need to do is just uh, it's like a deodorant but a spray for dogs and it like smells like kiwi blossom that's the scent of it and it smells pretty good yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this very like chill video it was very relaxing and calming I guess don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already make sure you give this video a thumbs up because I'm going to be editing this all night and posting it probably by tomorrow so I think I, 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 I deserve a like for all the hard work I'm putting into this but anyway stay tuned for um, other videos that are going to be coming up soon guys and I'm going to go to bed after I edit this bye